Hey everyone, welcome to part two of this um, trophy thing. I don't know, uh, prattling about platinums, something like that. <laughs> um, I didn't actually know exactly how this was going to turn out um, before I actually started making it, so that's why the last end, uh, last episode ended so abruptly. But essentially, I think I'll just do it in parts um, if you guys want to keep watching it, because then 30 minutes is a long time, so yeah. Um, Alright, so let's just keep going. Um, Silent Hill 2 and 3 is just up there. Uh, I kind of bought this collection on a whim. Um, when I was younger, my older friend, he's, uh, he's in his mid-30s now. Oh, yeah, I think he's 36 now. Um, yeah, he, uh, he really liked Resident Evil when um, he was a kid, and I was a bit, like, too scared of it, but I did try and play it, and I had, like, a Resident Evil 2 demo from, like, a magazine that it came with, and we always played that one. Um, I think one time I played Dino Crisis, which I really, really liked, and, um... Yeah, like, I never really played Silent Hill, and I was like, you know what, I'm, like, how old was I when I did this? Uh, I was 22, yeah, so I never really played um, Silent Hill, but I was like, you know what, I gotta buy Silent Hill, play it, like, 100% complete it, platinum it, everything, and then that way I can see what it's like. And it did not disappoint, Silent Hill 2 is still one of those um, sort of iconic games um and it's funny because i think i've only only in the recent like past few weeks uh even have i realized exactly what this game is trying to say and you know how deep it is um and what the story is actually about so um yeah and i think one day maybe i'll play it again just for myself and uh and really try and understand that story because it's it's probably uh a lot better than it seems you know when you can't really see it. Uh, Alex Kidd in Miracle World. <laughs> uh, the reason I have this is because my parents actually played Alex Kidd when they were, um, when they were younger. They, we had a, I always get confused about this, I think we had, there's a Mega Drive, a Master System, and then the Sega Genesis, and like two of those, if not all of them, are basically exactly the same, and we had several games, and one of them was Alex the Kidd in Miracle World, which is still one of the greatest games of all time. Um, it was kind of like, it was a little bit like Mario, I guess, so it was a platformer, um, wasn't very long, um, what is this, Clear Stage 9, while on the Swee Swee boat, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, so, yeah, it's an awesome game, um, it's I don't think I ever completed it as a kid, but thank goodness I was able to as an adult, um, and yeah, I, I bought it on a whim again, but it was a great game, it's, um, a lot of fun, brings back a lot of memories, uh, of playing, as a very young uh, boy, and um, yeah, top game, top game. Uh, Silent Hill 3, very different to Silent Hill 2, a lot faster paced, um, we have female protagonist, um, basically the same sort of style of trophies, uh, I don't remember it being di very difficult, let me have a look at the times that I got here, 27, yeah, it looks like it took me about a week to finish, again, this is all when I had a lot more time to play video games. I think I was only a few months away from getting my first job after this. Uh, yes, I did get my first job when I was almost 23. <laughs> I had a really hard time finding one. Um, it sucks when you don't know what you want to do with your life, but yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> anyway, I did really like that game. Silent Hill 3 was, uh, was one of, um, one of the best, uh, well, just one of the best games to, to Platinum and, and 2, and I love, I have that the collection still with me. It's awesome. Now, Budokai HD Collection. It's a very important thing to say about this. Earlier, we talked about Devil May Cry 1, 2, and 3, and how Devil May Cry 2 didn't really fit with Devil May Cry 1 and 3. For whatever reason, that was exactly the same thing with Dragon Ball Z Budokai HD Collection, because there were three games in this collection. Oh, sorry, there were three games in this series. Budokai 1, Budokai 2, and Budokai 3. But for whatever reason, the HD collection didn't include Budokai 2, and everyone said it was because um, Budokai 2's battle system and the, the way they d designed it wasn't as... Um, uh, it, it didn't fit the similarities between 1 and 3, so they only put 1 and 3 in it, and I was really upset because, yes, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 was probably the worst of them, and Budokai 3 was, in my opinion, the best PS3, um, Dragon Ball Z, PS, PS2, sorry, PS2 Dragon Ball Z game that existed, uh, fighting game. My friend and I played it a lot, uh, and we really, really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. As you can see, I super enjoyed it, because it literally took me six days to complete this. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, like, it, um, and six days is, uh, you know, 
the, I think it's this one here. Unlock Dragon Arena mode in Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. That takes a long time. <laughs> there are certain things in Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 that take a long time. I can't remember if it has everything, you know, that um, requires a huge amount of time investment like I did for the PS2 versions. But yeah, it takes a long time. You have to fight a lot of battles. Um, but I still, I love, again, Dragon Ball Z, I love it. So I'll pretty much always play like Dragon Ball Z fighting games. Darksiders 2. Um, they kind of really updated what they had with Darksiders 1. They added a lot more to it. It felt more like open world as opposed to kind of just story beat, story beat, story beat. But um, still a great game. It's a big downside that um, THQ, I think it was, right? Uh, that they went down and we never got like the next Darksiders uh, 3, you know, for because um, it's about the apocalypse, right? So the first one was war and I think this one's death, if I'm not mistaken. So they still had like pestilence and famine, I think are the other two. But I think we are getting Darksiders 3. I, I'm pretty sure I saw like a trailer for it, um, but I think it's being developed by someone else. So it is going to be very diff different. Uh, if I remember, I think I'll look it up um, after I finish these videos. But yeah, um, pretty similar to Darksiders 1. It just felt more open world uh, and it was a lot more complex, but I still really like that game. Ico, didn't know anything about it. Um, it was one of the PS Plus titles. I think it came along with Shadow of the Colossus as well. Didn't really know anything about it. Decided to play it one day. Loved it. Great, great game. Definitely, um, I think this is one of those games that you can give to someone who doesn't really know much about games. Um, or doesn't play games. And, uh, you give it to them and, uh, they'll struggle. They'll, they'll struggle. They might not even finish it, to be honest. But they might come to kind of understand what it is sometimes to, to play certain games because they, it just, um, you know, it's a platformer and it's in 3D and it's just a bit more complex than something like Mario. So, um, yeah, I, I, I loved Ico. I think it was really good. I don't, it took me a while, didn't it? It took me, no, it took me about seven days, seven or eight days. Um, did it? Yeah, it looks like it. But yeah, um, this one was hard. What was it? Beat the game within two hours. That was tough. I, I was probably very close to not beating the game um, in two hours. And this one as well. Clear the game without viewing game over screen. I could probably say it was, uh, it was really tough. Um, but awesome game. Tomb Raider. A lot of people love this game. Um, the first, the reboot, you know, after what Tomb Raider was in the, in the 90s um, and late 90s. So, yes, I, I really like this game as well. Um, I actually have to look at this because I think this is the one with the multiplayer, wasn't it? And it's all the way at the bottom. Yes. This one had, uh, what's the name of the trophy? Oh, did I skip it? Hang on. Buy every upgrade in character. True commitment was annoying. It must be by every upgraded character. Yeah, um, multiplayer, I don't know. I hate shoehorned multiplayer. I think, I think this one had shoehorned multiplayer. I think this was the most annoying one to get. How long did this take me? This took me a while, right? Yeah, it took me like six months. Okay, so it took, this one took a while. Um, yeah, shoehorned multiplayer. I remember playing this like over and over and over and over and over again, trying to get to level 60. I think... You had to do private matches and kind of boost yourself because it just wasn't feasible to to um, to play all the time with on uh, with people online and it's yeah that's one of the biggest downsides you know online trophies are so frustrating but I have managed to get quite a lot of them in in my actual trophy um, you know collection so it it's a tough thing but hey I did it. <laughs> Uh, Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. It's not a game. It's just the cutscenes. So for those who don't know, there is a Kingdom Hearts uh, 1.5 um, remix and then there's a 2.5 remix and they're on the both the PS3 and the PS4. On the PS3 one, Final Mix came with the cutscenes from... Was it this one? Yeah, from 358 over two days as well as the game Chain of Memories, re-Chain of Memories. Um... And so literally you could finish this. Yeah. So it took me two minutes to finish this. Some people finished it in like seconds because you could like literally skip all the scenes and you even get like three golds out of it as well and three bronze. So yeah. Um, 
actually, I will talk a little bit about 3.5 over two days because I did play it on the DS and I remember absolutely loving that game. Um, it would have been remarkable if they could have uh, remastered it and put it into the collection. I don't think there's any chance of that happening now unless, you know, unless they decide, okay, we're going to have a PS5 and then we're also going to bring out another remastered Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5 remix and this time we're remastering 358 over two, two days and recoded. That's not going to happen. Um, in fact, all this PS5 talk is really getting me frustrated. <laughs> I don't want PS5 just yet. It's like, I realized that PS4 came out in like 2013, which is insane to me because that means it's been five years. Almost, actually, I think it was late 2013. So um, it's been like almost five years and I don't know, like we're already changing consoles. Like what was PS3? 2007, right? So PS3 lasted like six or seven years. And this is, we're already after five. I feel like this could go 10 years. So I don't know. I mean, I'm always for progress and, and change and um, getting bigger and better. And especially, I think I read something about maybe they could do um, backwards compatibility, which let's hope that they could. Um, but yeah, it is, I, it's just insane how fast time is going. This still feels like there's so many amazing games coming out for it. And even though the PS5 is probably still two, three, four years away, whatever it is that they end up doing, because they, I think they said, like, we're not doing a PS5, but then people change, like, they change their story. Like, what is it? Nintendo said with the Nintendo 3DS, we're not making, like, a new style of 3DS, so this will be the only style. And then you had the Nintendo 3DS X XL, and then you had Nintendo 2DS, and it's like, well, what happened to you saying that you're not going to make... You know, that's why I bought a 3DS uh, so early. But, um, yeah, and I only bought it because of... Um, the other one that's coming up, uh, but not Birth by Sleep. I can't even remember what it's called now. Uh, Dream Drop Distance. Yeah, I bought it because of that. Um, and boy, was that a dis disappointment. <laughs> anyway, we'll get to it when we get to it. Far Cry 3. Awesome game. Loved it. Loved playing it. I believe this was also a PS Plus title. Um, I don't think there was anything too difficult in this one. Was there a multiplayer? Oh, there was some online... There were co-op maps? What the hell? I don't remember this. Oh, right. Yeah, no, there were. I think I did this with a friend. Um, a friend came over and we, like, two-man this. I vaguely recall doing that. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty hard. Um, I forgot about that. Yeah, so Far Cry 3. Um, don't play it unless you've got someone to play it with. Um, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. What can I say? It's Kingdom Hearts. One of the greatest games ever made. I bought this when it came out in... Uh, well, my parents bought it for me when it came out in like, what, 2002, I think it was. I think it came out in 2001 in Japan, but I think it was like 2002 for us. And I must have played it like six or seven times all the way through. I love this game. And now to see like people like Miss Master One, shout out to you, man. Like, I know you'll never see this, but you are incredible at this game. It is insane how quickly you play this game. And I can't wait to see you get, I think it's a 2.13. I've already forgotten what time you need, but, uh, or 2.12 maybe, I don't know. You are a beast at this game and it's, if you've never played Kingdom Hearts, um, the final mixes are, oh, sorry, the remix is 1.5, 2.5. You need to play them. They're, they're incredible games. They're awesome. Shadow of the Colossus, just the remaster released just uh, recently. Um, from what I can see, I think there's, let me see if there's anything about goats in here because I've been seeing a lot of goat talk from like PS4 trophies and stuff like that. And I don't think there's any goat things. Okay. So it looks like the new remastered version has like a lot of extra stuff that the original didn't. So I can't talk about it, but, um, I, or I can't say anything. I can't have an opinion, opinion on it because I haven't played the new version, but I know that this game is amazing. How long does this take me? Really? Six days? I, I thought I struggled with this one because some of the Colossi were really hard to beat. Um, I know that this game, the PS3 version, is awesome and it seems like the PS4 version just adds on to that awesome even more. Um, so yeah, top-notch game. Spec Ops The Line, another game that's actually been talked about quite a lot in recent times. Um, I think Nolan North did the voice for the main character and uh, it's a pretty tough game. Which Is it FUBAR? Is this the one with FUBAR? Something about FUBAR. Let me have a look. Do, 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 do. Yeah, complete the game with FUBAR difficulty. I can't remember what that that stands for. I, I definitely know it stands for something as, as does MFWIC. Um, tough game. And it's also... Um, this game will make you feel, I, I, I think. Um, it's got quite a deep story. Um, and it's 
it really, um, I can't think of the word now. It's like an introspective, I guess, look at, at um, the horrors and the actual reality of, of war and how incredibly depressing and just bad it is, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um, but yeah, it, it's a fun game. It's very difficult to get the platinum on it and um, and you'll die a lot, but um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's worth a play. It honestly is worth a play. Uh, speaking of worth a play, remember, remember me. Also, very um, I think unique concept. I I can't remember if anything got uh, like I I mean the only thing I can think of is really like Horizon Zero Dawn that might have something to do with this, but I haven't. I it's been so long since I played this game that I don't remember anything about it. Again, this my memory for story goes out the window. But I did really enjoy this game. I remember really enjoying it. It's definitely a game that you could platinum very, very, very quickly. If you knew exactly what to do, you could do the platinum very quickly. Um, I do not remember the developer, but I think they, they're still going. If not, I guess they went under, but um, <laughs> that was redundant. But anyway, um, uh, it's, it's, a, um, it's a good game. It's a really, really, really good game. If you have a chance, like this is one of those games, if you find it in a, in a pre-owned game store or in a store where they have like cheap games for five bucks buy this and play it it's worthwhile platinum look it took me like four days to get um really really good game contrast uh was this a ps plus title i think it was a ps plus title um i just decided to play it one day again uh this is more of an experience than a game it's still definitely a game but it's it's definitely an experience as well I remember very little of this game, but I remember that I liked it. When did I get this? Did I, did I do this all on the same day? I think I did. Yeah, look, I did it in one day. <laughs> February 1st. Um, uh, yeah, I I really, really liked it. Um, oh, yeah, I vaguely remember the day. Yeah, I, I can even, like, picture, like, what, the, what it looked like when I was playing this. But, yeah, um... It's uh, it's it's a worthwhile play. It's a worthwhile play. So if you still have it from PS Plus, it's there. Play it. Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy Thirteen. Ah, oh, I love this game. I honestly really loved playing this game. I don't know what it was, but I loved playing this game. And I know a lot of people didn't like it, um, and some people loved it. I really love playing this game. This is another reason why I want the Final Fantasy Thirteen remaster to have the original Thirteen Two and Lightning Returns. Um, it's it's fun. It's fun. It's hard. There was hang on. Again, it apparently only took me like eleven days. But this trophy, where is it? Uh, is it complete the game on like hard mode or something like that? I'm sure that was. No. I realize that some of these trophies are like giving away <laughs> plot points. I think there was one I read before. Um, on uh on Far Cry 3, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows that one. That's hard. Proof of victory over the dragon Aeronite who brought terror to dead dunes. Proof of mastering all creation and conquering even the ultimate lair. I know it's in here somewhere, but I can't find it. Um, basically, you have to complete the game, I think, on hard mode or something like that. And the only thing that was very difficult um, for me to do... Can't find it. Um, the only thing that was difficult for me to do was this, beating, this is like sort of the super boss, and then beating the final boss on hard mode. Uh, but that was only because I didn't know about, um, and it tells you right at the beginning, I think there's even a trophy for it. Uh, uh, where is it? I just, I just saw it. I literally just saw it. I think I just saw it. Alright, anyway. Um... There's a mechanic in the game that is told to you right at the very beginning, but then they never mention it again. Um, you can do kind of like timed attacks, if that makes sense. And essentially, when you do a timed attack, you deal more damage. If you do not do timed attacks on the final boss on hard mode, you cannot beat it uh, in the required like time. You cannot get that required thing. Um, but yeah, just remember timed attacks and you'll get it it's it's a fun game I, I liked it dark souls 2 we just did that it's exactly the same thing on ps3 as ps4 i think there's one trophy that is not different but they kind of like spelt it differently for whatever reason so i'm not entirely sure what's going on there but uh not spelt but they um i don't know there's like a letter that's capitalized or like an extra of or the or something like that so um, yeah, that's the only difference between Dark Souls 2 and the one I just did. Tales of Symphonia, if you haven't seen Tales of Symphonia, uh, I actually did this, um, not 
this particular one, but I did this on my channel. It is a lot of episodes. It's a tremendous uh, lot of episodes to play, but I, I enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed the first like 100 episodes. And then it was like, oh man, I want this to be like, I forgot how long this game is. You literally have to beat this game, I think, four times. And then you have to get quite far in the fifth playthrough or it's you have to beat it three times and you have to get quite far in the fourth playthrough. I never know which one it is. Um, Top-notch game, great story, easy to follow, great characters, easy to like. Um, few missed opportunities with the... Co uh, not the combat system, but the... Um, there's a... What is it? There's like a costume mechanic, but the costume mechanic is directly related to your leveling. And so if you choose to wear costumes, your characters will be inherently weaker, which kind of sucks for people who like seeing difference in differences in costumes. So yeah, that kind of sucked. But um, I think my guide turned out really well. Um, if you want like a full, you know, in-depth guide, watch for Tales of Symphonia um, because I, I did it there and it was, it was a lot of work, you know, it was, I think that, tr that guide went for like nine months. So, um, yeah, yeah, hopefully, and I know some people are watching it. Like I've had messages of people, like I'm currently watching your guide and I'm like, that is just so cool to see someone actually using it. It is uh, the best thing. So, because it is a top notch game, it really, really is a top notch game. Cannot say enough about it. Hands down my favorite Tales game. Um, I haven't, have I played any others? <laughs> Uh, I've played a few minutes of like Vesperia, which was very similar to Symphonia. I haven't played any of the others. If I had the, all the time in the world, I would. Uh, Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. Simple game. Um, not not bad, not good in either way. Uh, like, it, you know, either which way you look at it. Um, but yeah, Brothers, also another great game. Um, you have to move each character with the thumbsticks and a great story in that one as well. Uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. Um, a lot of people prefer Asylum over City and, oh man, I, I think it's the l less popular opinion, but I think I prefer Asylum over City as well. Um, I just like kind of being confined for some reason. I like the, and I'm sure there's a word for it, like the, conf oh, the confinement. <laughs> I like the confinement that, um, Arkham Asylum brings as opposed to the sort of wideness and, uh, depth and largeness of city but then again for whatever reason like Arkham Knight which is coming up later that that game is huge as well and it's also I would say it's probably better than Asylum but I don't know exactly why um Asylum is a great game um I think I f is this the one I finished really quickly yeah I finished in like two days um I, I remember because I was this the first time I played it I don't know how I finished in two days. I think I played this on like another account or I played this somewhere else and then it was a PS Plus title. And I was like, cool, I'm going to play that on this day. It was like July or something, wasn't it? June, July? No? April? Okay, so it was April. Um, and then I was like, I'm just going to play this and I played it and it was awesome. So I love that game. Gianna Sisters Twisted Dream. Man, if you want a tough game, this is the game to play. This trophy right here obtain a trophy in all score attack levels and obtain a trophy in all time attack levels uh, as well as unlocking uber hardcore mode is the bane of my existence it took me so long to get this Where, when did I start this is a lie there's no way I did it in a month that felt like so much I mean I must have been okay if I did it in a month that meant that hang on 2014 oh yeah 2014 was my like my year of gaming I, I had finally got a job but basically it was just a casual job and I was going in for like 14 hours a week if that and then all the rest of the time was spent like playing games and just playing the PS Plus titles and stuff fun year so I spent uh, even though that's only like a month's worth of time um, it was constant like day after day after day after day hours and hours and hours and hours on end to to beat this and at one point i th i can't remember exactly but i beat the final boss um and then which i think is gurgle walkie isn't it yeah i beat the final boss and then there's like a little mini runaway section and right at the end there's a little jump and i failed the jump and died and that cost me the trophy so i had to do it again <laughs> and i'm not kidding it took me like I think it was 130 attempts at the final boss, something like that, 130 attempts. I finally got him. I was on pace or I like, I was going to get the, I was going to finish it. I was going to get the trophy that I wanted. And then, um, and then I lost and I was like, great. Now I have to do the entire thing again. 
And then I did the entire thing again. I lost to it three times and then I was able to do it. And I was like, thank God. So you could see how much like <laughs> um, playing it like really made me um, more proficient at it. So that was good. Um, okay, I'm going to have to take a break real soon, but I think I'll speak about this last one. Um, oh, no, I have to take a break, actually. I have to go to do something. So there's still five minutes left in this episode. I'll continue that later. I will be right back. Okay, back. Um, so let's just keep going. Infamous 2. Um, geez, what was Infamous 2 now? I'm trying to picture. Uh, I've actually forgotten. The first one was about Cole McGrath, right? And then this one... I can't remember. <laughs> I've actually completely forgotten. Um, yeah, uh, vague, I vaguely remember. Anyway, um, pretty similar to Infamous 1. Where is Infamous 1? Let's have a quick look at the the uh, the icon for it again. Uh, yeah, it's pretty similar. So there's Infamous and then Infamous 2. Um, the icons are pretty similar. Uh, I... Uh, I liked it, definitely liked it. I think the games were pretty similar as well. There's probably like a lot more updates and stuff like that. I do remember liking it, but honestly, I couldn't tell you what it was about. Like, I, I've completely forgotten that. I looked at the last trophies there. It was like, what was it? Uh, play 10 years to generate a mission. So there was an, like a multiplayer aspect to it where you could um, create your own levels and stuff. So uh, I don't know, maybe, I mean, well, probably inevitably there's some really good levels in that now that you know, uh, people have had a chance to create that. Wow, 40 bronze trophies for that game. That's insane. Uh, Stick It to the Man was, I'm pretty sure it was another PS Plus title. Kind of a weird game, but actually quite fun. Um, you kind of like platformer, puzzle platformer type of game. Um, and yeah, I like very short. Um, I finished it in two days. I probably could have done it in one, but I was probably busy doing other things. Um, a, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. That's a famous quote from someone, but I can't remember who. Um, or from what, maybe a movie as well. Uh, it's it's a good game. It's a very quick, um, good game to play. It's it's actually really fun. I really enjoy that one. Uh, probably one of the most, the weirdest um, games to see on my trophy list. It's just, it doesn't make sense for it to be there. Um, this was a PS Plus game and I'd always wanted to play a, uh, uh, like a soccer game. I really, really wanted to play one and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to look at the trophies, see what, what's up with it and see if I can do it. And I did, and I don't think there was any multiplayer trophies for this one. If there was, they were, they were very easy, but I don't think, I don't think so. Um, but it ended up being just like kind of, how long? It took me a month. Yeah, it took me about a month to get through, maybe half a month. But uh, it was just basically very repetitive. You had to keep doing the same thing over and over again. Just keep playing matches, keep winning matches, keep playing matches, keep winning matches, and that's it. Um, I can't remember like exactly what the trophies were, but it was something like you had to win this league and this league and this league and this league, and in order to win those leagues, you had to play, I don't know, like 30 matches over a year or something like that. So again, um, not something that I would probably play again, but definitely actually quite enjoyed it. Um, at one point, you know, it, I mean, I could only really play against the computer on, on like easy or maybe the difficulty above that. But, uh, um, it was just, yeah, one of those that I, I, I enjoyed, but I probably wouldn't play again. <laughs> um, Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time. I, I really like, um, this game. It was, it was really good. Um, I did play a demo of one of the older Sly Coopers a very long time ago. I remember there being a, uh, Sly Cooper to play. But, um, yeah, I, I played a demo of a very long time ago and I liked it. And then this one was, um, was really good as well. Um, don't remember there being anything too difficult. Navigate like Drake. I think that's a reference to probably Uncharted or the actual famous explorer. What is it? Oh, Francis Drake. Yeah, that's right. It actually says it in Uncharted. Um, yeah, I, I remember this being not too difficult. How long did it take me? Uh, yeah, a couple, like a week or so, but, um, yeah, I, I definitely like this game and I, I think one day I will get around to playing the Sly Cooper collection, but, uh, that day is not today, nor is it tomorrow. We'll find out when it is. <laughs> um, okay, so the order's getting screwed up a bit here, but yeah, Infamous Second Son was a way more recent one. Oh, 2014, really? That long ago? Um, I liked it. I liked it. It was kind of a, I think actually the original Infamous was better. I think number one was still better. 
but I like the updates that they made to the game, like, uh, you know, like the better graphics and the better looks of like the moves and, um, there was quite a bit to, no, it's probably about the same level of things to do in Second Son as there was in the original, but, um, but yeah, I, I definitely like this game. It was, it was, um, it was a fun one to play. Infamous, I think all of them are very fun to play. That's probably their, their biggest, um, claim to fame actually is just the fun aspect of them. Um, Gran Turismo 6, here we go, another, oh, I forgot, I forgot I had this Ayrton Senna, um, tribute. Ayrton Senna was a famous Brazilian, um, Formula One driver, I think, if I remember correctly. Sports car driver, I can say that, but make it nice and, uh, vague and plain so that I'm correct. Um, again, there, I don't think there was anything in this one that was extremely difficult, like, nothing compared to what was in Gran Turismo 5. Um, wait, how long did it take me? Still took me a good... Oh, no, it took me about a month, it looks like. Six, 6th of December up to the 7th of January. So it took me about a month, yeah. So nothing in it that was anywhere near the difficulty of Gran Turismo 5. Um, but, uh, yeah. It was, um, it's just one of those games because of my father, so I, I, I play it. Um, hence why I have Gran Turismo Sport on my thing, and that's at the very top. All right, I've pretty much run out of time, um, so we'll leave it here, and next time we'll keep keep going up. As you can see, this is probably going to take about four or five parts, but, you know, I, I don't care. If people like this, then fantastic, you know. I can only really do it once, because, uh, unless, of course, you know, I wait another, like, ten years, and then I have another this length of trophies to go through. Um, but if people like this, it's, uh, you know, it'll be really cool. Um, all right, so I'm going to leave it there for episode two. Um, I'll catch you in the next episode. See ya.